In this video, we're gonna check out one of the best fake markets in Istanbul. This is where the locals go. It's called Aksaray Underground and Above Ground Market. After that, we're gonna walk from Aksaray to Hagia Sophia and then the Blue Mosque and show you additional fake markets along the way. And then finish the day with the fish donor in Eminönü. First bites for you guys, Bismillah. We're one of our favorite places for Urfa kebab. All right, so I got the spicy beef kebab with liver. We have bread. Sarah's got liver. One of the places that we love coming to for shopping is Aksaray Underground AVM. This is our store right here. No bad. That's the one I got right here a couple of years ago. One minute. So these are whole three-piece suits. Dad is thinking about buying a leather jacket. That is cold during summer. All right, guys, so we're in Aksaray, Istanbul. <laughs> so, the main street on Aksaray, guys, it is full of restaurants. You're gonna literally see a bunch of restaurants that are named Urfa. Liver. That one is liver. So if you wanna take public transportation, Aksaray Metro Station is where you want to get to. And then you see those letter M's, that's a metro right there. So Lily, take that, walk that way, you're going to see all the restaurants. If you want bags, guys, this is a great place for bags, shopping. We bought bags here plenty of times. Luggage, belts, shoes, flippers, sandals. One of the places that we love coming to for shopping is Aksaray Underground AVM. This is the underground shopping plaza. We've been here plenty of times. We buy shoes and literally those things will last us at least four or maybe even five years. So the quality is really good and the price is not bad at all. So let's go check it out. Underground shopping. So we are here below ground at the shopping plaza. So let's go check it out. Okay, folks, if you want the best quality and the lowest price, Underground Aksaray AVM is the place for you to go. This is our store right here. No bad. We come here quite a bit. That's the one I got right here, a couple years ago. So these are whole three-piece suits, or two-piece, depending if it has a vest or not. And these prices are not set. They're definitely negotiable. Sada, your shoes were 350. You got it for 250, right? Yeah. Sada not happy. Didn't have her size. Hello guys. Uh, hi guys. Yeah. Have some alum? No, I should buy the whole thing. Everything? I'll buy everything. My dad's favorite, leather jackets. Dad is thinking about buying a leather jacket. Dad is cold during summer. It's a little about. In 1400 is how many dollars? 75 bucks? 75 bucks for any of these jackets here. These are real leather.
All right, guys, so a couple important items you want to keep in mind. Very, very important. Number one, as I mentioned, you'll mention, I'll mention a couple times in the video, do not shop in the Grand Bazaar unless you're buying gold. I'm telling you, you're gonna get ripped off. The prices are crazy. These guys are professionals. This is what they do day in, day in, day out. I don't care how good you are, they're gonna basically be able to rip you off. I've been in business to business sales for a long time in sales. And trust me, every time I go, I lose every time. So uh, I'm telling you, you, just be careful. Don't go there unless you wanna just spend money. Number two, do not buy perfume. Do not buy cologne. They are fake. The barcodes are fake. I can't tell you how many times I've seen in the news where people bought it and took home and they had a skin rash or the skin was burned and it ca caused all kinds of issues. Do not buy a perfume cologne at all. I don't care how many times I tell you it's original. It's not guys, it's fake. Very, very important. And then also when you buy water from the folks standing around, at times the lid is glued. Make sure you buy coffee, tea, drinks, whatever, at inside of a store. Do not buy it on somebody standing on the street trying to sell it to you. Number one, that's a water bathroom. Number two, the lids are glued. Uh, just to trick you, make a living. So those are really three things you wanna keep in mind. And the last thing is bring cash. None of them take credit cards for the most part. So bring a lot of cash, keep it in a safe place, keep an eye on it, and make sure you don't lose it. We're one of our favorite places for Urfa Kebab. It's right off the train when you get out and got here. And let me show you what we got. By the way, we just have appetizers. I don't know where we're gonna put the kebab when it comes here, but let me show it to you. Sido, what are you doing? So we have iron, salad, onions. So this is just the appetizers. Dad's favorite place? Yeah, no more place for kebab. Yeah. Meriam, yummy? Good? Sido, yummy? Not yummy? <laughs> All right. Here's iron for you guys. That's good. Put in sumak on the meats. All right, let me show you what we got. All right, so I got the spicy beef kebab with liver. We have bread. Sarah's got liver. Maria, what do you have? Kebab? Yeah. What do you have, Annie? Yeah. Dad's got pushish. All right, let's give it a taste. There we go. I'm gonna put the kebab here. Just like that. Bismillah. So I got tomatoes, onions in there. It's for you guys. Good place. Yeah. Liver. Liver is good, but the kebab is better. So if you come here, order the kebab, not the liver. All right, let's finish this meal. All right, folks, so we just finished eating at the restaurant right behind me. They're then Urfa Babosh Kebab. Really good place, amazing place. Definitely the one of the best kebabs we've had in a really long time. So if you're in the Aksara area, Fatih area, definitely recommend you come check this place out. It's a really good place. All right, guys, so one of the cool things from Aksarai is you can literally just go up the street right behind me all the way up, which is Ataturk Boulevard. It'll put you right in front of Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. You can walk it, which is about a 30 minute walk, or you can take the tramway right here, and it will drop you off right in front of Hagia Sophia and Blue Mosque. Now from there, you can also walk to the Grand Bazaar. So this street right here, it's an easy way to see all that in one day. And once again, along the way, you're gonna find a lot of shops that you can purchase items from. You can see Louis Vuitton bags right here. Of course, a lot of this stuff here, all of it, let me just say that, is fake, it's fake market. You can see a lot of shops here, below ground. Polo. Hugo. There goes the tramway. And this will put you right in front of Emmy Nuna. You can have the fish sandwich over there. Nani? You tired yet? Yes, I'm tired. Very tired? Yes. 
fuck it up. Good exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Time to switch. Another bazaar. Catch my bike, Altmush. So that's 60 lira, which is three bucks for chicken. So a lot of Gucci, Gucci, Armani, Louis. That's a good one. Catch my bike, See the brands. Come on. But this is another bazaar that you can go to right here. Okay, have to sign if you have to. Sign if okay. So that was 280 liras, which puts you at about 15 bucks. Yeah, 15 bucks or so. All right, guys, so why should you continue watching the video you clicked on? Well, a couple things. Number one, I have lived in Turkey for three plus years. So I have a pretty good idea where to go, where to shop, where to eat, where not to go. Number two, I've been to Turkey 20 plus times in the last eight years. So I have a pretty good idea. So continue watching this video. Make sure you click on like button. If you're not following us, please do so. Thanks so much and enjoy it. So surprisingly, today they have the roads blocked. So a lot of people are walking on the roads. You can see they got the barriers up. I've never seen this ever. So something must be going on. Yeah, I mean, you're literally gonna find streets and streets of shopping. Sara, what's up? Hey. You happy? Yeah. You smell Istanbul? Yeah. What does it smell like? Spicy. Spicy? Yeah. <laughs> Sour? Yeah. Sweet? And fish smell. Fish? Yeah. It smell like a flower? Yeah. So we're making our way toward Blue Mosque and Ice Sofia. See though. Look at Baba. Hey! Hey everybody! <laughs> Alright guys, so we just stopped by for a pit break. We're here for a coffee break. We stopped by a really cool store. I'm about to show it to you. Or Sada's about to show it to you. Sada, time for you to work. All right, folks, so we just finished Shah Sultan, where we had the, I mean, the ice cream and the coffee. The Turkish coffee was really, really good. It's probably one of the best ones we've had in a long time. So if you are on this street, walking toward Aksaray or walking toward uh, Sultan Ahmed, they got about 10 locations. They're only available in Istanbul. So with that said, let's continue our walk toward uh, Sultan Ahmed and I, Sofia. Now, one of the things that you notice, you know, it's getting late in the day and then people starting to pull out their jackets and coats. So we're here first week in November and it definitely gets chilly at night. Uh, right now it's 60 degrees. So if you're here in November, definitely bring a jacket because it gets colder and it gets much more windier the closer you get to the uh, Bosphorus. Hi guys, we're finally here at Hagia Sophia. I mean, we came in at perfect time. It's 6.30, the sun just going down. The view is amazing. Let me show it to you. Wish you guys are here with us. Look at that view. I have had the privilege of praying inside a couple times already. My dad has not. So this will be his first time praying at Hagia Sophia. And of course, the beauty of being able to come here, not only you get to see Hagia Sophia, you also get to see the Blue Mosque. What a view. Hi, Sophia Mosque. Here we go. First time. First time. <laughs> 
Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah There you go folks Hi Sophia just finished training amazing amazing feeling if you're here whatever faith you are you definitely come by it's a really peaceful place it's a huge place so it's definitely worth coming here check it out Sara <laughs> all right guys we're finally in Eminenu it is 8.30 at night, we're tired from the walk, so we got our fish sandwich. So there you go, lettuce, onions, and fish. And the kids got seashell media. First bite's for you guys, smell that. First bite is just onions. <laughs> Second bite. Here in Istanbul, don't be like my parents, eat some fish. All right, folks, we're end of our video. But with that said, don't worry. We have two more videos coming your way at the end of this screen that you can click on. With that said, thanks so much. And please don't forget to follow us.